So, your driver. A few weeks ago, I was at TEDx Brussels. I saw a great device. Maybe some of you did. It's yeah. something you put on your head. It's like an EEG. It reads your brain activity. So, you can see things happening in your brain. Waves and where it happens. Okay, I said, great, I want to play with that. And it's not expensive now. It's really affordable, $300 you get. And I say, okay, but I need a real project. What project is it? Yes, a good one would be a wheelchair. Okay, someone already thought about it, but I said, okay, why not do it too? And uh, a cousin of my mother is doing wheelchair already for uh, people tetraplegic people with only small movement, but not for locked-in syndrome people that cannot, can only blink the eye. So I want to give them mobility by the sheer power of their thought, and I want to make them able to communicate with the family, have a vocabulary, and do comments at their home. So I want them to start the television, uh, light up the room. So, the cousin of my mother um, may lend us one wheelchair. It's 10 to 12,000 euro. Uh, we have the headset. Uh, we tried it during this weekend. We coded a few comments. And it's okay, it works. We need a bit more time, but yes, we get comments working, we have a tiny robot advancing, we just need one day to put them together, one day of work. So, the challenges is the setup. You have to get acquainted. So our business model is to sell the packages uh, we, we check the license and everything, it's okay. You put uh, it on your head, we link it, and we train you to some special thoughts. And with the, the four to eight kind of thoughts, we devise a user experience that enables you for doing the mobility, communication, and, um, and commands in your house. Yeah, so, um so that was the product, basically. It's a device on your head which connects through the computer to your chair and you can move. Now, what's the market for it? It's basically all the guys that cannot move their limbs. All of them who move their head or blink or eyes, they all are our market. So one of them is uh, the famous uh, Steve Hawkins, for instance. He is moving in a wheelchair by sucking just through the straw. Or so making the commands this way, he can do it more comfortably just by thinking about it. And we estimated that in Europe, in the EU, there's around 25,000 people who might need that a year because there are car accidents, all these kind of accidents that make you paralyzed. So it's 25,000 people a year. It's not a huge market, but it's still a market. And now if to this market, we have the reach through doctors because they prescribe these wheelchairs. They, they basically are our agents to sell them. And through those doctors, you um, through those doctors, patients also get reimbursed for these wheelchairs. And so that's very important. People are ma mainly interested to buy this wheelchair, more advanced wheelchair, with more uh, more uh, comfort within it, so that they and they can be reimbursed for that. So we try to make some uh, cost analysis for this, and uh, yeah, we we choose two we chose two products. One is like a medium end, and another is high end. Medium end product would be something like a wheelchair that they have currently, but because the, the cost of the device is not so big, so the price doesn't go so low, so high, and the, and the cost of the, can you go back? And the cost of the high model is a bit more expensive. And uh, the prototyping phase would be around 60,000 euros, half a year, because we have to make the device more, very accurate. And if you go forward, and forward again, we try to make an estimate for three years and the profit comes to the third year if we don't earn anything during the first year. So that's the, basically the financial analysis. Thank you for that, Manaton. So um, for the first phase, the prototype, I can put 10,000 euro from my pocket in it. I think it's worth it. I have two developers wishing to develop each month 
uh, in the people in the hackerspace Brussels to help us, and uh, then we'll need a funding of 3,000, uh, 300,000 uh, euro for the first year. In three years, it's okay. <laughs> as a medical device for which you need medical okay. approval. Good things. Uh, technically, uh, we proved this weekend that it's feasible. <coughs> this one uh, has some limitation, and I spoke with a doctor here uh, who knows neurology uh, with a bit more money, like uh, for a device, a $1,000. Uh, it's OK. We can do it. Um, so uh, for the, the ATN, so the frozen mother already had uh, and this validated by Inami and Aweep, so he knows how to do it and told me that it shouldn't be no problem. He will help me with that. He's very enthusiastic. And you have like six months of prototyping, so that's the uh, main, main risk that you take for and after six months you can say you go further. It's only 50,000, but I think it's worth it. 